So now that we know to how to download pictures uh, and to store them on our computer in folders that we've created, what can we do with those pictures? So if we open PaintShop Pro and we'll minimize it and we'll also open Microsoft Word. Now on the bottom of your screen here you'll see that the two programs are running side by side. We have PaintShop Pro and we have Microsoft Word. This is called your task bar. It shows you the two tasks. PaintShop Pro running I will maximize that and also Microsoft Word running and we can maximize that. We can swap between the two programs very easily by clicking on the task bar. So that's PaintShop Pro and that's Microsoft Word. So we need to locate a picture using PaintShop Pro. So we file and browse. It'll open the last place that I was which is in my pictures and in the subfolder original pictures. Now for the purposes of this tutorial I've downloaded a picture of the Spice Girls so we'll double click on that and open it up. Uh, in your case you'll be working with a photograph, family photograph or a photograph of friends or something like that. So what I want to do now is to take individual heads out of this picture and put them into a Microsoft Word document. So I prepare my Microsoft Word document by giving it a heading. So this is going to be called My Friends. And I'll put that in bold, underline, I'll center it, all the things that you're able to do. Maybe make the heading a little bit bigger. So I enter down and now created a space for the pictures to go into. Go back to Paint Shop Pro. Select the first head. Now in order to chop this head I use the selection tool I go to the left, top left hand corner and I select the size of head. I try to make it a square because I'm going to keep all of the, the heads the same shape. And I'm not actually cropping to selection here because I want to maintain the whole photograph. Simply what I do is I go edit and copy. So now it has copied this little selection for me. I go down to document one Microsoft Word and I go edit and paste. And it brings the photograph into Microsoft Word for me. I'm now able to resize that photograph by going to one of the corners and pulling it in and that resizes the photograph. Uh, the photograph is also on bold and underlined so I'll undo that and it's centered where, and I'd like it on the left so I go to the left hand side here. When I click away from the photograph, put a space in, I'm now creating space for my second photograph to go into. So I go to Paint Shop Pro again and I'm going to select a new selection here, so the second head, and again I go edit and copy back down to Microsoft Word, edit and paste. The picture comes in too big as before, so I click on it, go to the top corner and resize, making it the same size as what I've just created. You can repeat this until you've all the heads ready.